hey guys welcome to our homeschool room the light just went kind of dim because the sun went down a little bit so hopefully that'll come back out from behind the cloud and i'll get a little bit better lighting but i really have to film this for you guys today so i hope that you can see everything really clearly if you've watched my channel for a while you would know that i do a homeschool room tour pretty much every year last year i can't remember if i did one before school started but i did do one kind of in the middle of the year when we changed the girls desk situations. If you have not seen our homeschool room in a while, you may think it looks different because it does. We used to have a really long desk right here for one of my girls and then the other desk kind of went out this way for my other daughter. We have since changed that because my oldest daughter who will be in 10th grade this school year um, basically does everything upstairs in her room or at her desk in the uh, playroom. So now it is just my youngest daughter's desk and then my desk which has always been in this room this is my office it was my office before we homeschooled and i don't know that i've ever shown you guys my side of the office so my desk is on this side my youngest daughter's desk is here and basically the desk that we did have here we broke down and reconfigured into this which is normally where our class pet is staying but she is in the other room right now but this is where her cage goes so this used to be a desktop these used to be the desk bases of the other desk now we just pushed everything together cut the tabletop down a little bit and now it makes a perfect little stand for our class pet and then um, some extra storage here so i guess the thing to do would be to start on this side of the room um, we just have a marker board from costco this map that i got at hobby lobby which is interactive supposedly with your phone i've never actually used it that way but that is there uh, I have just a little goal setting kind of thing here and a pointer, which I very rarely use, but it's right there. Up here, I have our parts of speech posters that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I used to also have these on this same wall, but I moved them over here. And I think that's a really good tip. If you have room in your classroom to hang posters, I think it's a good idea to rotate them and or move them from time to time because they tend to be something that your kids don't pay attention to anymore if they're in the same spot year after year. So I moved all the Punctuation Paradise um, posters over the door and then we just have the parts of speech posters over here now. Another thing I learned the hard way is I could not find anything long term that would keep these posters on the wall. So what I have been doing now with these and it's been working out perfectly is to use the command strip poster strips. They look like this. They're pretty small. I got them at Michael's with a 50% coupon. Um, and so they'll last for quite a while. So I've got quite a few left, but so far that has been the only thing that has been holding these on the wall. Everything else I tried, except for thumbtacks, of course, which I didn't want to use, uh, was falling off the wall. So those have been up there now for quite a while and they have not moved. The map is hung up with thumbtacks though. And then moving over here, I have um, this big unit from Ikea, it used to be up in our playroom. And then we also had one down here. I moved this one down here as well, so now we have extra bookshelves. So above the bookshelf, I just have some posters. Uh, those two came from the Dollar Tree. That one came from a teaching store here locally. We have our learning globe, a cactus. And then this little inflatable um, world came from Dollar Tree as well. We don't reference it, but I just thought it was cute, and so I decided to hang it up there with the command strip so that it's just kind of decoration. Um, and then window, my daughter's desk. This is the other bookcase that we already had down here. This is all non-school related stuff. So it's all craft books, stickers, um, Play-Doh, kinetic sand, tons of clutch books as you can see. We have stencils and stamps, craft kits, uh, craft supplies, and then glitter and paint. And then down here in these big totes we have ribbon and hair making supplies, craft, other craft sets, um, beads and jewelry, and then Play-Doh. And um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that shelf just because it's pretty self-explanatory and it's not really homeschool related, but it is a good place to keep all of these things because there's not really anywhere else in the house to keep them. And the girls do a lot of crafting either in here in the office or at the kitchen table, which is right next to this room. So this is a perfect place to keep them um, all together and organized and accessible. So that is there. Up here, I have our light up marquee, which I have not put our sign uh, anything in yet our thankful jar, a printer, a map of the United States. And then over here in the corner, we have our homeschool reward store, which I've talked about before. I've done haul videos for it before. Basically the girls earn what we call Loki bucks. Loki's our dog. 
they earn low key bucks by doing different things in school and then um, once they save up enough they can get whatever's in the store so we have things in there I kind of need to replenish a little bit over here I just have a tripod our Swiffer's um, like stick vacuum to clean the floor in here my yoga mat because sometimes I work out in here and this floor is hard so it's nice to have that and then some poster board poster paper and things like that in the back this bookshelf is all homeschool related stuff so we have tons of books and I made sure I had extra room because these are all um, chapter books that either my oldest daughter is going to be reading with school or um, has already read and I'm saving for my youngest or they're chapter books that my youngest daughter is going to be reading at some point in our homeschool journey. Just don't know when. So I made sure I had two extra cubbies for nothing but chapter books. Up here we have all reference books. So Animals and Bugs, Animals and Bugs again. Geography and reference books, more reference books, more reference books, so lots of books. Down here we have our science kit. So we have a science puzzle and then these are all kind of like pre-made science experiment kits the male chemistry science supplies a flower press and the home science tools lab kit that goes with our bob jones science curriculum if you don't know what i'm talking about check the homeschooling playlist because i talk about what we're doing for science for fourth grade and that is stuff that we're doing with that and then just some other science related things this cubby is miscellaneous flashcards, so pretty much anything that's not geography uh, related is in here. So we've got Bible trivia and brain quest and some Smithsonian cards, these mindware uh, brain boxes. We have the United States presidents and art. And then this is all geography. So we have basically anything geography practice. We've got USA bingo. We've got sequence states and capitals, a state's puzzle, another state's puzzle um there are some more mind where brain uh, brain boxes back there landmarks and geography stuff these two this cubby hole is pretty much almost empty because this is just contractions practice she's almost mastered this so it's just sitting down there and when she finishes it i will um, sell it and then that's just some empty popcorn little buckets that we had for a game down here is all logic puzzles and games and little um, electronic math games some more electronic math games um, a telling time thing I got from the Dollar Tree uh, a cash register this thing is my speaking math from when I was little yeah, it's 1978 so it was probably my brother's and then mine after that so that is a very old speaking math that does still work and then we just have some more games over here a Robin's Egg math game this little kind of whack-a-mole game for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and then a Scrabble alphabet scoops game is down there. So these are all learning games, uh, flashcards, books, things like that. So that is everything in that bookcase. Over here, I've changed quite a few things. When it used to be my oldest daughter's desk, this was all of her like supplies and then her books. But now that she's not doing much in here at all, um, Really, I've kind of turned all this into my storage for the desk, for the office. My storage for the office, Bean, our little pet, has her own little uh, cabinet. And then my oldest daughter does have one cabinet in here. She's got her drawing tablet. And then these are just some extra workbooks and things. Her history workbook, her ACT prep workbook, and then some extra workbooks there. So pretty much nothing in here belongs to her anymore. Um, this is Bean's. A little cabinet or guinea pig so she's got her pellets her travel carrier her tunnel and then a big bag of hay down there and then this I have turned all into extra school supplies and office supplies so the top drawer here is very squeaky I've got all colored pins black and blue pins and some uh, white out these are all um, printer cartridges and I've got some labeling cartridges here in the back rubber bands that are extras here and then binder rings here and in the very back there's a little container back there that has extra packing tape and binder clips second drawer again office supplies this drawer is beautiful it's all post-it notes paper punches index cards index card dividers extra um, staples and paper clips and then little notepads back here if the girls want to just grab a little notepad i've got those back there I don't know why they're all squeaky. This one is pretty much all coloring supplies. I've told the girls not to open any new containers of markers until they go through these. 
They have all been tested by me, Clorox wiped by me, and they need to check these first before they go opening another container of another box of markers. So I've got a whole box of markers here. I believe there are fat, there's fat markers in there too. So fat and skinny markers are in here. Underneath that, if they do not find the color they need, and I highly doubt that, then I do have a couple extra boxes of the fat markers and then the skinny markers. These are our color by number colored pencils. They go with a certain book we have, so I have to keep those. Some crayons that we made, extra highlighters. These are all dry erase markers. And then down here we have all um, colored pencils, the erasable crayons, and the um, twistable colored pencils. So this next one is all pencils and glue and erasers and things like that. So an entire container of glue sticks and liquid glue, some extra scissors. Those are just pegs for my cabinet drawers or cabinet shelves. Extra dry erase erasers. We also use these little facial pads from the Dollar Tree as a dry erase eraser. So I have a couple extra of those. Pencils, these are all mechanical pencils down there. And then all in the back we have extra erasers, uh, chalk and erasers down there. At the very bottom is my laminator and my cutting machine. And I've got laminating sheets underneath this that's all in there and then coming over to my youngest daughter's desk she has this little pouch from the Dollar Tree right now it's empty we don't use it a whole lot but it gives her some extra storage space if she needs it in her drawers she's got the same drawer stack I just showed you over there these are all her supplies so she's got a pen in the marker section um, she's got markers her rulers um, a spot for pencils and erasers a pencil sharpener crayons, pens, and then a glue stick, a dry erase board, eraser, and some scissors. The next drawer, again, not very full because she really doesn't need a lot in here. This is where she keeps her Loki bucks that she's earned. She's got her headphones. If she's doing something on the computer and needs to have, you know, block out some noise, she's got those. And then this is just extra paper for her, which has extra wide lines. So I have that. The next drawer is kind of her art drawer. She's got her Ohuhu markers, which I just talked about in my Amazon favorites. We love these. And then she's got like a color sheet for that. Her art pad, her travel clipboard, which I've talked about those before too in the past. The girls love them because they open up and have storage on the inside. And then she's got all of her decorative washi tape, her watercolors, and then some puffy paint down there. So basically, this is not really school related, but she needed a place to keep her art pads and all of her little supplies. So I don't mind if she keeps it in here as long as it stays neat. And then down here, these are all things she's really not going to be messing with, but they're things for her. All types of math manipulatives and flashcards and play money. Um, pretty much anything that we're working on math skill related or we might need for a math game. We've got math dice. We've got foam fractions back there. All different types of math supplies. And then down here at the bottom, really nothing much down here either. I just have these alphabet, these alphabet uh, letter tiles. I'm debating about whether or not I'm going to get rid of them and sell them because we never use these. But I thought she may want to use them as spelling practice games. Um, so these are all uppercase alphabet and then lowercase alphabet. If she doesn't use them this school year, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and sell those. And then on her side, and she's on this other side is where we keep all of her current uh, curriculum that we're using. I love how she labeled this, books and other belongings. She's definitely my daughter. <laughs> but this is everything we're gonna be doing this school year. We've got her vocabulary, English, science, her daily learning notebook, history, her math notebook, her geography binder, and then um, this is what we're getting ready to do for English after she finishes English 3, which we're almost done. She'll be starting English 4. I have her times tales, which is how we mostly taught her her multiplication table. I have that down there. This is her devotional that we're going to be doing um, this coming school year. We're going to have group devotional time. So everybody's going to have their own devotional, and then we're going to have a little bit of time to read it and then talk about it. And so this is what she's going to be doing. It is a kids devotional that is science based and then obviously Bible based. So it ties in the Bible and science, which I love. In the very back, I'm not gonna drag all this out, but if you see these pink boxes back there, those are all extra workbooks, things we haven't done yet, things I may do in the future, things I wanna hang on to for, um, that we did with her older sister that I'm gonna be doing with her later. So those are just all things I don't need to access very often, but they are back there. I spend so much time in this room 
either doing personal book work, this is where I work on my YouTube videos most of the time, unless I'm out somewhere with my laptop, this is where I do all my editing. Well, I live pretty much in this room, whether it's a school day or not. But I'm really happy with how it looks. I love the beginning of a new school year when everything's clean and organized and fresh and only keeping what we really need. And I wanted to share with you guys because I didn't remember if I had shown you all um, the way we changed the desks and everything. And it's worked out really well. This is how it has been most of last school year. And as far as I know, it would be this way for the foreseeable future. Um, so that is everything on their side. I guess I can go ahead and show you my desk because, like I said, I've never shared this with you guys before. Um, because, honestly, there's a lot of personal information and I try not to show too much just in case... I accidentally show you something, but I can go ahead and show you now because it is all organized. We have our clock right here, which is um, just extra practice for her learning time. I made this a couple years ago. It used to be on the other wall, but now it's mounted to the side of this cabinet. So that's good for extra practice. I use this all throughout the school year to keep track of what's going on. So I have a, um, a review and correct cubby hole, which is where I put everything to be graded. Any upcoming work I need to have access to um, that I want to remember, I put there. And then up here is where the girls turn in their work. And that one at the bottom is usually just extra. I have this little easel here. We try to study a different work of art um, every week. And that is where that is going to go. I have my bill kind of little thing there, my post-it notes, my lamp, my computer. Um, and then normally my laptop is right here, but my daughter is using it. And then in my cabinets... I have moved quite a few things in these cabinets. Um, this is all extra binders, and then I actually have these two containers up there, which are all extra binders and folders that are empty. So that's what that is. And then I have um, discs that come with different computer programs, some Blu-ray discs, and then all notebook paper and extra spirals and composition notebooks. And then this cabinet, which is right by my head when I'm sitting down, is where I keep my teacher's manuals that I'm working through with my daughter, um, my devotion, my Bible, the devotion I do with the girls sometimes, and then all of my little planners. So like my personal planner, my YouTube planner, um, and just an empty notebook if I want to make down any, make any notes when I'm doing my devotional. And then these are all things I'm doing with my daughter as my teacher's manuals. And then up here, extra teacher's manuals for current, uh, extra teacher's manuals for previous curriculum um, workbooks that I'm going to be working, you know, giving her a couple pages from here and there. I didn't need them to be like down here with everything else, but still really accessible because I will, will reference these things more frequently. So that's up there. In this little section, I just have some Disney decorative items. This is where I put the girl's work after it has been graded. I put, um, each girl has their own. And I just have an extra one at the bottom. But that way, once it's graded, I put it there. And then when the month is over, I'll show you in a minute where I file their work to keep it long term. But that's where I keep it um, until the month is over. I've got a high school information reference binder. And then these two binders are, I've got them turned backwards because the girls' names are on them. But those are basically every answer booklet in condensed form. Each girl has their own binder which has the answers to their own curriculum. So that way when I'm grading, if I want to take this to the other room or I want to take it to lessons or a car or in the car or something, I have all of the answers to all of their curriculum all in one place. So I did that last year. It worked out really well. I have a video about it that will be linked for you guys in my um, home schooling playlist. You can go back and find that video and see kind of how I set that up. But that has been amazing, a lifesaver saves me so much time and keeps me organized. So that's what that is. And this is just an extra answer book for my oldest daughter's biology. I can't tear out or punch holes in it because we borrowed it from a friend. So that's just kind of sitting there. Over here I have, this is new. This is gonna be my youngest daughter's vocabulary wall. Every day she has a different vocabulary word. And I have these little strips that we're gonna write the word on and then post them up here so that she can see them every day as well. Even if it's, you know, Friday and we're down here, she's gonna be able to see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's word also. So a grading scale and then how to earn Loki Bucks is up there. And that's just some of the ways they can learn Loki, earn Loki Bucks. I'm not gonna open this cabinet because there are tons of things in here that have the girls' names on them, but basically it is where I keep their memorabilia. And then this cabinet is all paper products. So washi tape and confetti that I would use for greeting cards and then a whole box of greeting cards. This is all construction paper and cardstock 
printer paper and I've got two containers of scrap paper so that way we're not wasting paper that maybe have you know maybe has something printed on the back or something we don't need anymore I just keep it the girls use it for scratch paper and then we recycle it I've got Clorox wipes in here to clean things up and then the floor wipes for our Swiffer and then these are all the extra um, vocabulary strip cards for future vocabulary words that is everything in the cabinets the drawers the top drawer is all electrical kind of electronic type things so the iPad cords charging things pretty much all of that stuff my camcorder I'm using right now it normally lives right there so this is all that type of stuff memory cards and things like that this drawer is where I keep um, stickers that I use for school, stickers that are not school related that I use on the girls' cards and things, my nail supplies because I typically do my nails downstairs on Saturday nights. So I just keep my basic supplies down here and my nail polish stays upstairs. And little cards and cutouts and things I thought was cute that I, uh, I thought were cute that I saved to give the girls from time to time. Down here is where I keep all of our um, instruction manuals. So Anytime we get an instruction manual booklet for a washer or uh, some type of electronic device or the toaster or the vacuum or whatever, they all have their own little category here and I just keep them in here. That way they're accessible but they're out of the way. And then on the right side of my chair, I have my supply drawer which has um, a stapler, pens and pencils, uh, little flags I got from the Dollar Tree, paper clips, rubber bands, different types of scissors, a tape measure, you never know when you need that tape, dispenser, little clips and binder clips, markers and highlighters. In the back I just have glue dots, those command strips I showed you, extra staples, push pins, and a packing tape dispenser. Next drawer is envelopes, coin wrappers, a notepad, extra batteries, my um, labeling machine, and my three hole punch, and then just some banking things like extra check registers and checkbooks and things like that. And then the bottom one I'm not going to show you because it is my personal bookwork like credit card statements and bank statements and things like that. So I'm not going to open that but it looks just like that one over there except it has personal related banking information and things like that. Um, at the end of each month when the girls are done with all of their schoolwork for the month and I have taken it from this little cubby here and I have a folder um, for each girl for each month. Um, that is labeled. So if it's August, I take all of August schoolwork and I put it in whoever's um, hanging folder it is for the month of August. Same thing, September, October, November, December. That way, at the end of the school year, all of their schoolwork is filed away. It's separated by month, so it's really nice. If I know we did a project maybe in the fall, I can go back and pull it out easily. I can also look at the beginning of the year's progress versus the end of the year, kind of where they were. And they also have a special folder in there for um, report cards, such, um, certificates, and special projects. So if there's something I don't want to get kind of lost in the shuffle, I want to kind of keep it separate because it's their very best work or I think it's what I would want to show if the school board ever decided to audit me and I, they wanted to see a sample of their work. I keep that in another um, folder kind of in their section. That way I can easily access that. So other than that, it's the bottom of a desk. It's got cords and wires. I've got my shredder, my little marker board that I use a lot. Um, instead of the big marker board, I'll just sit at my desk and use this to kind of show my daughter whatever we're talking about. And a trash can, so it's not too exciting down here. So that is pretty much everything. I'm sorry if it was kind of long, but I felt like I wanted to kind of be as thorough as I could without getting too wordy. Um, and I did show you also my side of the desk, or my side of the office, which I've never shown before. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. There are tons of videos in my homeschooling playlist that you might want to reference as far as those um, teacher instruction manuals that I made for the girls or the curriculum choices for next school year for fourth and tenth grade. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Click that bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos, whether they're homeschooling or Disney or cleaning or mom life. You want to be notified whenever I upload, so make sure you click that bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.